Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone review series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 71, Once Upon a Time, written by Richard Matheson, directed by Norman Z. McLeod. This is a season 3 episode and as always there will be spoilers. So Once Upon a Time is an episode I've always enjoyed. It is a comedy episode and I think one of the better ones in my opinion. It is a very unique episode as well in the fact that it features silent comedy star Buster Keaton and it's great to watch Keaton in a Twilight Zone episode. That's definitely the main appeal of it for me anyway. Also another unique thing is that part of this episode is presented as a silent film. So the first part of this episode is done as a silent movie and we get our main character Woodrow Mulligan played by Keaton and Mulligan is not too happy. It seems like uh, there's too much noise, prices are high, there's a lot of traffic, too many bicycles. As a matter of fact, Mulligan collides with a bicycle and falls in the water so this uh, gentleman's really having a rough time of things. So he goes to work and he's a janitor working for a professor who just happens to be working on a time travel helmet. So this helmet will let someone go to another time, but only for a very short period. I think it's like a half an hour, uh, which is convenient because that's how long the Twilight Zone episode is. So Mulligan puts it on and gets transported to the early 60s which is actually when the episode aired, so the present, as he's from the past. So this is where the episode starts to become filmed like a conventional episode. And I thought the transition uh, between styles here was, uh, was a little strange, but also interesting. So at this point, Mulligan finds himself in the present, but he doesn't seem to be too happy, uh, as there's even more noise and even higher prices than what he's used to. Of course, he also loses the helmet, and there's a wild series of events uh, to get it back and also working again as it seems like it's malfunctioning um, a little bit. So eventually during his travels he runs into a scientist named Rolo who says he'll help him out and they go to get the helmet fixed. There's also a great scene, my favorite scene in the episode, where Mulligan uh, needs a new pair of pants so he basically just takes one and when he's uh, basically bothered about it he pays for the pants with money that's already in the pockets of the pants that he took. Uh, yeah, I know, it's Twilight, so you just have to go with it, but for some reason, I always found this scene to be really funny. So eventually, Rolo, the scientist, decides that he wants to go to the past because he thinks this would be interesting, so he tries to take the helmet. Uh, Mulligan and Rolo both wind up with the helmet at one point, so they both go back in time together and we go back to the time period where the episode started and we're back to the silent movie format which uh, is once again an interesting transition. So Mulligan is happy to be home. He's now more content with you know his own time period but after a while Rolo's upset because he has no modern technology to work with so Rolo uses the helmet one more time and returns to the 60s. So like I said once upon a time there's a lot that happens in this episode and I really enjoy it. Now some of the jokes are a bit dated others hold up better in my opinion but the episode really does a great job of showcasing Buster Keaton and is a nice tribute to the silent film era overall. Also, also there is there is a little bit of a message in this episode that I like about how someone can think being in another time period will be better, but different times and eras have unique challenges and issues to deal with as well. So overall, you know, Once Upon a Time doesn't quite hit classic status for me, but I do find it to be very entertaining, and that's why it comes in at number 71 on the list. As always, feel free to let me know if you like this episode or not. Thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.